Okay, so there's two sides to every story, right? We all know that. And if we know that, then we know that there's what actually happened and then there's the marketing version of what happened, right? So it is 7.37 in the morning right now and I just got back from the gym. Well, I went to the gym first and then I went to a buyer's house because the first side of this story says that, hey, I bought a house last night and this morning I sold it. You really can make money overnight. Okay, but what actually happened is I did a lot of work. I busted my tail for like two weeks in September to sell this house. What happened yesterday was I got my paperwork from my, from my attorney and I had the time in my schedule to go make the deal happen. And then, so last night I got the paperwork from the seller that says I can buy their house. Woohoo, great! And then this morning, at 7 o'clock in the morning, I had the time and the opportunity to meet with my buyer to sell the house. So yes, I made 5,800 bucks before eight o'clock this morning without any makeup on, in my gym clothes, regular old me. So now for the rest of the day, I'm going to Chattanooga. I'm gonna go have some fun with my family because before eight o'clock this morning, I made 5,800 bucks buying and selling a house. It's a lease option deal. So when this woman that I sold the house to this morning, she gave me $5,800 to move in, I'm going to make about $16,000 when she buys the house. So if you want to look at the marketing version, I made $16,000 when she closes out and $5,800 this morning. I made almost twenty. I made almost $22,000 today. Overnight, bought the house last night, sold it this morning. Woohoo, that's awesome. Except the real story is, I've been working on it for the last two weeks. So yeah, if you want a success story, if you want an overnight story, then yeah. I bought a house last night, then went to dinner with my family. This morning I got up, went to the gym, and sold the house. Made a bunch of money. But in the real world... There are no overnight successes. There's some hard work, there's some dedication, and there's some motivation involved. There's some plans, there's some strategies. And yeah, I bought this house with no money. These sellers did not pull my credit. And they didn't ask for me to go to the bank and get a loan. I took the problem away from them. The husband <laughs> is very risk adverse and he didn't want to be a landlord. They're great people, they have good credit. They just didn't want this other house. They let me buy it. I found somebody who wanted this house, who wanted to move into it, who wanted this opportunity. I'll also tell you that I got six houses available right now. If you're somebody that needs an opportunity, you make good money, you got bad credit, buy one of my other houses. They're on WhitneyBuysHouses.com. Or if you're somebody that wants to wake up and before 8 o'clock in the morning collect a check for 5800 bucks. Sign up for my program. I will teach you how to do it. Real estate is not difficult. It's only as difficult as you make it. And I'll be glad to teach you how to put these plans into action. But don't expect to be an overnight success. I can feed you that story if you want it because it happened. Real life, true story, in the last 24 hours, I got the contract to buy the house last night and I got the contract to sell it this morning. but don't believe all the hype that it just happened in 24 hours. Just like I went to the gym this morning, I don't expect to go to the gym once and learn everything and lose 30 pounds. You can't expect to watch a free webinar and learn everything you need. But I'll teach you everything I know. 
send me a message. If you want to talk more, if you want to know more, let me know. I'm excited. And now I'm getting in the car and going to Chattanooga and spending the rest of the day with the family and having some fun because I've already made 5,800 bucks today. What have you done today? What are you going to do today or this week or this month? Because what is it? The 5th of October? I hope I sell the other six houses this month. That'd be a good month. So let me know if you need me. I'll be around. Bye, y'all. Happy investing.